Check it out. Check it out. Check it out now. Safari, come get your membership card, dog. Come get your goddamn membership card to the Pussy Nigga Association. I told you, bruh, we got your shit laminated because you have to now face reality. By the way, Safari was robbed recently, okay? My heart and my prayers goes out to my Jamaican brother, okay? However, my only angle in this whole thing is that after listening to Safari's music... And see how he has handled this. Of course, I know it's traumatic. I understand going through these range of emotions. I'm not saying he's not human. However, the things he said in the aftermath of him getting robbed does not represent all the shit he's been saying on records. He wasn't licking shots. Burner wasn't there. If a boy violate, they weren't going to get clapped up in a butt month. None of that. Okay, he was very happy that the cops actually caught the, the assailants. Okay, and by the way, he's explaining himself to people who, number one, called him a rat because he did say on Angie Martinez that, yo, he can't wait for the motherfuckers to get locked up. And if he could do anything to assist, he will assist the police in locking people up because he's a grown man and this and third. And I mean, I would do the same too, but he's also getting flack for crying. I mean, some people are saying, bro, if you were that emotional, why do the interview at all? You could have not shown up to the interview, but of course, some loving hip hop type of thing. What's to, of course, go cry on camera? You got robbed earlier. Not cancel the interview. Let's go talk about the robbery and let's go cry. Okay? Again, my heart and my prayers goes out to Safari. I'm only talking about his lurks. Because from here on out, I don't want to hear those type of lurks from Safari unless he just explains it by saying... I'm not about that life. It's purely entertainment that we could know to not take his lyrics seriously. Okay. Now he got on Twitter and he started explaining why he was crying on Angie Martinez show. He says, senior life flash before your eyes is a life changing experience. Nothing funny about that is probably only funny to people who don't have anything or never experienced it. My uncle was killed in a robbery, so when thinking about my situation, all I think about is him. I'm not crying over lost jewelry. No, that's material, but being face down and not knowing if you're going to get shot in the back of the head is the most traumatizing thing I've ever had to deal with. Thank God I'm still alive. They want me broken, but all they did was... Was make a fucking beast out of me. When you do a crime and get caught 10 minutes after you did it, that's called karma, bitch. Not snitching. But moving forward to people who know and don't know me, don't take offense to my new way of moving. Thank you to everyone who has reached out and sent blessings, nigga. Now, again, man, I'm confused by Safari. I can't tell if he's glad the police locked these niggas up or he's on some shit like, I'm looking for revenge, okay? I don't know exactly what's going on. Again, I got to keep saying it every two seconds. My heart and my prayers goes out to Safari, but I am thoroughly confused, okay? Clearly, he got robbed. He has insurance. He'll get all of that back, but I'm confused with his image. Is he a law-abiding citizen that is in the Pussy Nigga Association, which I am a, one of the leading members, okay? Or are you like me, who will call the cop at a drop of a dime, okay? Or are you a top shatter, Jamaican bad man, no infama? What, I, I just got to know, okay? And side note, Safari mentioned that the niggas who robbed him got locked up 10 minutes after they robbed him. Which means them niggas didn't even turn the corner before Safari called 911. My nigga, okay, my nigga, okay. That means you definitely belong in the club, bruh. Come on home, bruh. Come on home. So Safari, I, I, I ask you that question. But addressing you crying on camera, I understand people being tearful, okay? And I don't have a problem with him being tearful there, even though some people are saying, why did you do the interview? If anything, man, I like when people just keep it real with their emotions. Now, of course, him being real with his emotions, again, come back to my only question. It doesn't match the song lyrics. Ain't none of the song lyrics says, after a boy violate, I'm gonna cry straight. No, it doesn't say that. It says, yo, you body up some. Listen, y'all know what it is. Anyway. Safari responded, he's trying to clear shit up. What y'all think, man? Some people are trying to call him a rat or a snitch. I'm not going to say that because I call cops. Okay, I call the police. That is not snitching. And it's not snitching when you're not about that life. But if you're about that life, 
then it could be considered dry snitching or snitching because they're expecting that you're going to handle it a different way. All right. You guys can comment box me. You guys like them. Subscribe. My heart and my prayers goes out to Safari. It's working, anyways. Oh.